The term tactical is defined as gaining an advantage over an adversary or situation. The revolver is a tactical tool with many advantages. A firearm that's remained viable for so many years and has saved so many lives is worth your consideration as an EDC piece. Revolvers are far from outdated for personal defense and, in some situations, might be a better fit for you than a pistol. If you choose a tactical revolver for personal defense, there are many good choices. As with any handgun, the weight or heft of the piece, its balance, and the level of recoil you're willing to master are important considerations. When choosing the ideal tactical revolver for your needs, it's essential to factor in aspects like your living situation, sensitivity to recoil, and individual taste. We've created this video to guide you in selecting the perfect tactical revolver tailored to your circumstances. This ensures that you're equipped with the most suitable firearm for the task at hand. Number 8. Ruger SP-101 The Ruger SP-101 in the 2-inch barrel configuration is very similar in role to the Smith & Wesson 640 Pro Series. The SP-101 is slightly larger and slightly heavier, weighing roughly 25 ounces. Again, however, this added weight makes this small revolver much easier to shoot compared to the lightweight variants. The SP-101 has a rather dreadful trigger pull out of the box, as do most J-frame revolvers. But with just a change in the main spring, the SP-101 can be blessed with a good trigger, perhaps the best among such small frame revolvers. The SP-101 is certainly built like a tank, and if you are so inclined to actually carry 357 Magnum in a small frame revolver, the SP-101 would be my top recommendation. Number 7. Chapa Firearms Rhino 60DS The main selling point of the Chapa Firearms Rhino 60DS large 9mm revolver is that it is chambered in 9mm compared to the conventional 357 Magnum or 38 Special. Since it is chambered in 9mm, it offers a wide variety of bullet types and loads, allowing you to customize your load for your unique situation. 9mm rounds have a higher velocity, providing you more penetration compared to traditional revolver rounds and lower recoil than the 357 Magnum. With the Rhino 60DS, you get an aluminum alloy frame with steel hardware for a durable weapon that is lighter than other large frame revolvers. It has an impressive 6 inch barrel with an overall length of 10.5 inches. It also comes equipped with a standard 6 round capacity giving you enough ammunition for personal defense. The Rhino 60DS also features a lower bore axis, which reduces felt recoil and muzzle rise for more precise shots downrange. Another significant feature is its fixed red fiber optic front sight an adjustable rear fiber optic sight for improved visibility in any lighting condition. If you want the options and performance of a 9mm revolver, the Chapa Firearms Rhino 60DS Large 9mm Revolver is an ideal choice. Number 6. SNW MP R8 Smith & Wesson introduced a TR8, also known as a Tactical Revolver 8, specifically for this purpose. What sets the TR8 apart as a tactical firearm is its built-in rail for attaining a flashlight and an additional optional rail for optics. The TR-8 seamlessly integrates contemporary defensive or hunting accessories onto a revolver. The number 8 in its name signifies its 8-round capacity. In regions with restrictions on standard capacity magazines, the TR-8 provides a compelling 8-round capacity of 357 Magnum rounds. This becomes even more formidable when equipped with an optic and flashlight. Despite its size, it's remarkably user-friendly. Its double-action, single-action trigger facilitates both quick and accurate shooting. Speedy reloads are made possible with moon clips, and the revolver is designed to accommodate eight-round moon clips. Number 5. Taurus 605 The Taurus 605 357 Magnum revolver with VZ grips is a small frame revolver at an excellent price point. It comes with many features found in more expensive models, including a front night sight with orange outline, an enhanced grip, and an extended ejector rod. With its night sights, you can quickly get a good sight picture in low light environments, making it an excellent choice for a concealed carry. It is chambered in 357 Magnum, but you can also use a 38 Special Plus P ammunition for more versatility. The 605 is built to last with a stainless steel frame and hardware with a matte stainless finish. A downside to this weapon 
is that it has a five round capacity instead of the standard six round. But five rounds are plenty of ammunition in a self-defense scenario. If you're looking for an affordable revolver with excellent features, the Taurus 605 357 Magnum revolver with VZ grips is a go-to weapon. Number four, Ruger Super Red Hawk. The Ruger Super Red Hawk is a large revolver produced by Sturm, Ruger & Company, a well-known firearms manufacturer based in the United States. It was first introduced in 1979 and is still in production today. The Ruger Super Red Hawk is known for its powerful chambering and calibers, such as 454 Castle, 480 Ruger, and 44 Magnum. It is a popular choice for hunting and self-defense due to its powerful chambering and reliable design. The Super Red Hawk is also known for its durability and accuracy, making it a good choice for outdoor use or as a backup gun. The Ruger Super Red Hawk has various finishes, including black, stainless steel, and blued. It is also available in various barrel lengths and grip styles, allowing users to customize their revolver to their specific needs and preferences. Overall, the Ruger Super Red Hawk is a popular and reliable revolver suitable for various purposes, including hunting and self-defense. It is known for its durability, accuracy, and powerful chambering. Number 3. Kimber K6S DCR Kimber's Deluxe Carry Revolver, DCR K6, is a six-shot compact carry revolver refined with smooth edges and brushed satin finish to prevent any snags or bites when pressed up against your clothes and body. The cylinder and frame are entirely stainless steel, but its small size and 2-inch barrel means the entire revolver weighs in only at 23 ounces. The short barrel sets the overall total length just 6.62 inches. Designed to be a carry gun in mind, the Kimber K6S DCR has no exposed hammer. It's internal. This is a revolver that you can comfortably carry all day long in many different positions. It's equipped with one of the smallest diameter 6-shot 357 Magnum cylinders currently on the market. The sides of each cylinder chamber are milled flat to help reduce its profile and improve heat dissipation properties. Disengaging the cylinder is done with a checkered button on the left side of the K6S. While the Kimber K6S DCR is meant for 357 Magnum, it can support 38 special rounds as well. This is less potent, but can definitely help shooter fatigue if you're just trying to take this revolver out for some fun at the range. Unlike the typical rudimentary snub nose revolver sight, the K6S rear sight is dovetail mounted and can be adjusted if need be. It's complemented with a frontal red optic sight. The K6S curved aluminum trigger has a hefty double action pull of 9.5 pounds to 11.5 pounds, with variations of around 8 ounces between trigger pulls. It's consistent, smooth, and breaks cleanly with only a slight bit of take up. Overall, the Kimber K6S DCR357 Magnum is a fantastic choice for shooters looking for a compact and comfortable revolver for personal protection. Its sleek design, high quality construction, and impressive trigger performance make it one of the best concealed carry revolver options available today. Number 2. Korth NXS The Korth NXS 357 Magnum stands as a premium 8-shot revolver, engineered for unsurpassed performance and dependability. Constructed with meticulous German precision, it's carved from 4140 carbon steel and graced with a diamond-like coating finish. A notable feature is its integrated Picatinny rails and ventilation ribs crafted directly into the frame encircling the barrel. Given that the Picatinny sections are built directly into the frame, they're steadfast and worry-free. Just beneath the crown that safeguards the muzzle's rifling, there's a segment of Picatinny space designed to house a weapon-mounted light for shooting in dim conditions. The Korth NXS 357 Magnum boasts a barrel crafted through the meticulous process of cold hammer forging. This technique ensures that the 416 stainless steel grains are molded into the rifled shape, rather than being merely cut, promising an extended bore lifespan. Customers can opt for either a 4-inch or a 6-inch barrel length. The precision with which this revolver is made is evident in the minuscule gap between the cylinder and barrel. It's so minute, it could practically be considered non-existent. For user convenience, there's a cylinder release button placed strategically right above the trigger guard on the right side while an additional cylinder release latch is located beside the NXS hammer on the left. Notably, the Korth NXS allows for a swift change to an additional 9mm cylinder, specifically tuned and fitted for the model. Enhancing its visual appeal and functionality, a 14K gold bead punctuates the frontal sight. If a user has a preference for a different type of sighting, 
the frontal sight's protective panels can be easily removed to mount a red dot sight. Handling the 3-pound weight of the Korth NXS 357 feels effortless, thanks to its balanced design and the snug fit into its Jim Wilson-styled grips made of elegant Turkish walnut. Lastly, the revolver offers an 8.5-pound double-action trigger pull that is as consistent and sharp as they come. Number 1. Smith & Wesson Model 69 Just like all 44 Magnum revolvers, this gun is powerful. It will blow a massive hole in the target and penetrate deeply. However, it has a major drawback as well. It's small and light. There's a reason why 44 Magnum guns are heavy. That caliber causes such a strong kickback that a light, small gun could come flying out of your hands. In comparison, S&W's Model 29 weighs 43.8 ounces, almost 10 ounces more. The recoil is definitely more manageable with that model. Another drawback is the smaller cylinder capacity. The 44 Magnum round is a large cartridge, and the gun would be too bulky if it fit six rounds in the cylinder. This gun was designed to pack the punch of the Model 29, but in a compact, smaller model. The 69 is also a great value for the money, as the L-frame and stainless steel used are durable, and the gun won't be worn down after constant usage. That concludes our rundown of top-tier tactical revolvers. If this video provided any insights, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Which tactical revolver caught your eye? Drop your choice in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this content valuable, please give us a like. And to stay updated with our future content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, take care.